Did you hear what they said? The art of focus to avoid drama and confusion. Did you hear what they said? They said they need bread, Ted said to Fred. Bread is what they said. Pass the message down and let's get their bellies fed. Fred answered Ted. Yes, I am sure I've got it straight in my head. I will pass the message ahead, just as you said. Fred took the message from Ted up to Ned. Fred said to Ned, Did you hear what they said? They said they need beds, I suppose is to rest their bellies and heads. Beds? Are you sure? Ned asked of Fred. Yes, Ned, of course. It's just what they said. Then yes, Fred, of course. I'll message on for beds. Ned said to Fred, It must be important if it comes straight from Ted. A few hours later, Ned was sending a text. He couldn't quite remember exactly what Fred had said. Instead of waiting to ask Fred, he decided on taking a bet. After all, he was pretty sure he remembered Fred's strange request. Send them some thread, is what he wrote in the text. That passed the message along from Ned on to Jed. When Jed woke up to the text he got from Ned, Jed had to ask Ned if he was sure that's what they said. Sure, I'm sure, Ned said to Jed. I know, I know, it's a pretty strange request, but it came right up the line from both Fred and Ted. Okay, Jed said, if that's what they said, then I will go see about getting some thread. Wanting to be sure Jed could even get the thread, Jed called ahead, after Jed searched for a place that said they sold thread. The store told Jed they had thread in blues, greens, and reds. Ned didn't say about the color of thread, but Jed needed to know how much he could get. They assured him the store had plenty of thread and thanked him for thinking of calling ahead. Jed drove down to the store to buy thread, driving across town to get thread for Ted. From the store next door, Jed smelled fresh baked bread. Oh, how good it would be to get some to eat, but Jed still had to get thread. When Jed walked in, he put his hand to his chin he forgot to ask how much to get. He decided to text Ned, Fred, and Ted to ask them just how much thread they had said Jed should get. Ted answered first, Thread is not what I said. Then Fred chimed in, I said beds, not thread. Ted answered back, How would beds get them fed? Thread is not at all what it was that I had said. After this, Jed knew exactly what to do. He walked to the store next door. Jed bought all the bread, he ate a piece with jelly spread, then Jed gathered all the rest. Jed took the bread back straight to Ted, avoiding the problems and passing the message. With all that bread, everyone was fed, thank goodness it could have been worse. No good can come from a belly full of beds or threads. That would be terrible, of course. The End What did you learn from this story about focus, paying attention? Do you think if Ned... Jed and Fred had taken a little more time to stop, listen, and think, or maybe ask to be sure that they'd heard right, that there would have been less confusion. Luckily, it worked out for them, huh? A truly amazing level of focus can help us do all sorts of amazing things with our lives that we might want to. So remember, always remember to Watch with the eyes, listen with the ears, think with the brain, do the right thing with the body. Be the best teammates you can be. Be the best at being you.